Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Friday worship. I can't wait to find out who our stars of the week are and who's won awards this week. It's really lovely to be with you. I hope you're all well. Just at the start of our worship this morning, we're going to light the candles. And um, we obviously have got three candles because we're thinking about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But I want us to just have a moment to reflect this morning as I light the first candle. That's a candle lit for all the people who are in school at the minute, whether it's children or, or staff or, or um, the very few visitors we have. We had some people in to fix some things this morning, so we do have to have some people in the building. And this candle is for families at home, children, mums, dads, people looking after, grandparents. And the third one we're lighting today is for any staff that can't be in school at the minute. So we've got all of us in school, you and your families at home, and this last one is for staff who can't be with us at the minute and we're thinking of you. I just want to read something I think we all need to hear this morning. A couple of things actually, I've got a Bible reading and I've got a prayer. This comes from the Bible, Philippians in the New Testament, the book of Philippians, a letter that was written to the people in Philippi. And it says this, don't worry about anything, but in all your prayers, ask God for what you need. Always asking him with a thankful heart and God's peace, which is far beyond human understanding, will keep your hearts and minds safe in union with Christ Jesus. I said last week, I've said it in my newsletter, we're in the eye of the storm at the minute with the COVID problem. But just remember, there is someone who's telling us it's okay. I've got this, that we can turn to, that we can put our trust in, that will make us feel better inside. That peace it talks about here is that peace that you feel on the inside when you're safe and you're loved. And that can come from God. Let's just pray. Normally I make my own prayer up. This morning I want to try and focus on the positive. It's, we've got God's message there about peace. But I think it's also important to open our eyes to all the good that's in the world as well. This is from a children's book of prayer that's been in the cupboard that I got out again recently and started to look at. Let's pray together. Let's close our eyes and be still. Heavenly Father, we praise you because you have created a world that is beautiful and awe-inspiring. When we think about the size of the universe or when we hear the sound of crashing thunder or feel the power of waves breaking on the seashore, we remember what a great God you are. And then we see the little things like the pattern on a butterfly's wing, the colours of the feathers on a duck, the different shapes of leaves on the trees. And we realise that as well as being a powerful and mighty God, you also care about little details and have a great sense of beauty. Please teach us to appreciate all that you have made for us to enjoy in this world. In Jesus' name, we all say together... Amen. Fantastic. I hope you enjoy the worship this morning. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. And now it's time to find out who our fabulous stars of the week are. Could it be you at home or could it be somebody in school? How exciting. And we'll start off with reception class this week. And we have chosen... Esker! Esker is an absolute superstar. I can't say that enough. Um, the work that we are getting through from her is absolutely amazing. Her writing, she's doing lots and lots of creative activities and she is really enjoying herself and I think her mum and her little brother Onyx are too. Honestly, Esther, you surprise us every day with the amount of effort you put in. I cannot believe some of the things you've managed to do. Your mum must be absolutely worn out, but you make my day every day by sending those photos and in those work. And I know for a fact that your mummy is making bagels, especially for a Friday morning for worship. So a big thumbs up to mum and well done, Esther. We are so proud of you. Keep it up, sweetheart. How lovely. And you can find out that you star of the week while you're eating your bagels. That's really exciting. And we've got a funny picture of Esther to share now. Yesterday, one of the tasks, one of the stories Miss Fagan read was about Alan, an alligator, who had some really funny teeth. And we asked the children in reception class to show us some pictures of themselves with funny teeth. Well, Esther's really made us laugh. 
last night when we got it. So here you are, you can see it now. So well done, Eska, and Mum, and Onyx. We're really proud of you. Keep up the hard work. Well done, Mum. Good morning. The star of the week for this week, for year one, goes to Esme Rose, Esme Rose C. We are so proud of you with how well you are doing. You are always so full of smiles on our Zoom call, which is brilliant to see. Um, you have done all your purple mash tag tasks so well, all your to-dos, and you're coming on really well with reading eggs. It's great to see your progress with your home learning. Well done, Esme Rose. Good morning, everybody. Just before I announce the star of the week for year two, I just want to say a huge well done to year two. You've had a fantastic week this week with your home learning. You've really embraced the online learning. So thank you and keep up the good work. Now, obviously, we can only choose one star of the week. So the star of the week for year two this week goes to... Mohammed Youssef. Well done, Mohammed Youssef. You've had a fantastic week. Mohammed Youssef always completes every single one of his to-dos and his reading eggs activities. And he always puts 100% effort into everything. We're really, really proud of all your work. Mohammed Youssef has written a lovely story. We've been writing a story about the man on the moon and Mohammed Youssef has written his own version and it is awesome. So thank you for sharing that on the blog with us, Mohammed. It is a really, really lovely story. What we're really impressed with as well is how Mohammed Yusuf is showing scats at home. He's really, really happy for others. So every week when somebody gets Star of the Week, he comments and congratulates them on the class blog, which I think it's really, really lovely to see. We, we love seeing that in class, Mohammed. It's a really, really lovely quality to have. So well done. Keep up your awesome work. We are really, really proud of you. Hi, Year 3. Our Star of the Week this week is Ralph. Well done, Ralph. Ralph, you have been consistently handing in your home learning tasks and working super, super hard. You've been trying your best with all of the tasks that tasks that you've been doing and I know that you've been doing them in a way that has been helping you practice extra bits and bobs as well so well done Ralph it's so wonderful to see you working so hard and you are a fantastic polite and hard-working member of year three and it is a pleasure to teach you even though at the moment it is through a computer screen well done to all of the children in year three this week for working really hard on your tasks. There's some children that have been putting in more effort this week, which has been lovely to see. And I'm really proud of all of you, so well done. Year four star of the week this week goes to Erin. Erin settled into our class brilliantly. She puts 100% effort into everything that she does and she keeps us all smiling. So well done Erin, it's like you've been here forever. Good morning Year 5. Our star of the week this week is Archie. Well done Archie. You've been working really hard over the last few weeks with your home learning. You're always the first to post your work and it's always of a really good quality. Well done. Keep up the good work. Good morning, everyone. Um, the year six star of the week for this week is Riley. Well done, Riley. We've been really impressed with all of the effort you've been putting in to your home learning. And we know that you don't always find it easy, but you never get put off. You keep on trying. You've shown so much perseverance and we can tell how much effort you're putting into all of your to-dos on Purple Mash. And we are so proud of you. So keep it up. Well done, Riley. Hi everyone and welcome back to TT Rockstars. The results are in. The winners are Year 4 with 4,459 points and Year 5 with 11,215 points. 
with a smash and shout out in year four, Gabriella, and in year five, Olivia C. <laughs> this week's battles is year four versus year five and year six versus year three. Bye. Bye. Good morning and welcome to the reading eggs part of our worship. Lots to get through this morning because lots of you have been on it and it's fantastic news to hear that so many children are accessing reading eggs and really benefiting from what goes on on there. So I'm going to start with our certificates this week and I'm really pleased to see that six out of our seven classes have got certificate. Children in there have got certificates this week. So in reception... Christy has got a certificate in year one. Well, this week, year one, you are fantastic with the amount of certificates you've got. So there's certificates for Dale, Paisley, Jacob, Lila, Esme M and Leon. Well done, year one. Fantastic work. In year two, two certificates for you, um, Lily May and Ryan. In year three, Melody has got her certificate. In year four, Edith, Millie and Declan have got certificates. And in year five, Lucas, Anto, Alfie and Tyler. So well done to all of you children for your certificates. If you're in school, I'll come and give it to you today. If not, it will be posted out to you. So look out for that coming through your door. Um, Fast Phonics, uh, two children in reception have gone to the end of their peak. They are Lily, who's reached the end of peak three and Sophie, who's reached the end of peak four. So well done to you girls in there. Now, this week, I've decided that for our uh, shout outs to those children in different classes will be for the books that they have read and the growth that they have made. So in reception, Christy has read the most books and has also um, had the most growth. She her. Uh, uh, reading levels have gone up the most so well done to you Christy and you got a certificate so it's just been Christy week in reception uh, in year one Daniel has read the most books with Harry having the best reading growth in year one in uh, year two Willow has read the most books and Casper has had the most growth in year three well done to Miley who's read the most books there and Swanika for having the best growth um, in her reading. Year four, Declan has read the most books and Edith has had the most growth. Year five, Lucas has read the most books and Olivia C has got the best growth. And in year six, Caden has read the most books and Lucy has had the most growth. So just overall a fantastic week. Keep it up. I'm really pleased to see how much is going on. Um, next week, I'm going to do a little summary about how many lessons and how much, how many um, we've been looking at at the whole school, how many lessons have been completed, how many books that have been read, um, how much time has been spent on as a school, and you will be astounded about how much reading is going on. So well done and keep it up, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Big happy birthday today for Charlie, Lily, and Billy. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, friends, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, to Jesus be true, may your love God's blessings be used upon you. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Here's the good news for this week. Well, the first thing I've got to say is something really, really good, that somebody did something really kind for our school and that is a local business, um, a furniture place called GFW Furniture, who are just down the road at Eccles Hill. And they contacted us this week and said they would like to help out with the situation with home learning um, an online learning and the bought us five new computers. How wonderful is that? They don't know us, um, they just would like to help the community. So thank you very much, GFW Furniture. We really appreciate it and we're very grateful and we will put them to good use. Thank you. Right, the rest of the good news. 
In reception, they've been learning about the wild animals this week and I believe they've been talking about alligators, kangaroos and koalas. They've had some fantastic artwork and Miss Gagan and Miss Brian have been blown away by some of the work that's been sent in from home. So well done reception, keep it up. In year one, Jacob did a fantastic drama story and sent us the video in and I really enjoyed watching that. It's about Bijou the alien, Jacob. I really enjoyed that. So let's hope other people can do some more of those. It was really, really good fun. Um, in year two, well, 18 children in year two in the last six days have been on reading eggs. And guess what? They've read 44 books all together between them. That is fantastic. You must be Reading Eggs Champions Year 2 at the moment. Keep up the good work. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, in Year 3, Cade was telling me that he's got a dirt bike that I think he got for Christmas. And I said, who's doing all your washing, Cade, if he's getting dirty on a dirt bike? Anyway, he said his dad's doing his washing. Uh, Jaya got a purple and grey bike for Christmas, so she she really enjoys that. And Ralph, Amelia and Ellie May have got new babies on the way. So that's exciting news ahead for, for them. Oh, and Lacey got a new iPad as well. So I bet you're doing all your homeschooling on your new iPad, aren't you, Lacey? In year four, well, Miss Hall's mum has moved in with her at the moment um, in the current circumstances. So her mum's staying there because she's um, she's going to be moving to a new house in the future. And guess what? Miss Hall doesn't have to do any cleaning or anything or cooking because her mum's doing it all. So she's coming home to lovely home cooked meals. Can I move in as well, Miss Hall? Um, and also in year four, Gabriella and Marcelina have made some cards for Grandma Day and Grandad Day in Poland, which is on Saturday. So I wonder if any other children have made those at home. Well done. I hope I hope that day. I don't. Well, I'm wondering what you do on that day. Is it that you take them presents or cards or maybe I'll come and ask you or send me a message on Purple Mash if you're at home and tell me all about the Grandparents Day in Poland. And that's all for this week. Time to get the eyes closed. Dear God, thank you for the people in Living Road. Amen. Amen. Here are our closing prayers. Today we're going to be using some little items to help focus our thoughts and prayers. So the first item is a little building and I would like you all to focus on a place that you would like to pray for. It could be a country, it could be a town or a city or it could be a building and you're praying for the community or the people that are in that building could be a school, it could be our school, it could be a different school, it could be a church, it could be a hospital or a supermarket, it could be any place. So hold that in your head now and pray. I'm praying for my Nana's house. I'm praying for my mum and dad to be safe. I'm praying for my mum and dad to be safe. The next item is a person. So we would like you please to think about one person who you would like to pray for. It could be somebody that you are thankful for. It could be somebody who you are worried about and you would like God to send them love and strength. It could be somebody who you know is poorly and you want to pray for them. It could be somebody who you miss because you can't see them at the moment or somebody who might have passed away. So what, for whatever reason, hold one person in your head now and say a little prayer to God for them. I pray for my nana. I pray for my grandma. I'm praying for my nana and Amen.